time, episode 3 on fishing gears. Show your support by not skipping the ads or you may donate to this GCash number 0917-721-2519. Let's get started! Question 1. A cone-shaped body of netting, usually with one cut end, towed behind one or two boats to catch fish through herding and sieving, designed to be towed across the seabed or in mid-water. A. Bottom troll. B. Multi-rig. C. Pelagic troll. D. Troll. The correct answer is letter D. Troll. Troll is a cone-shaped body of netting, usually with one cod end, towed behind one or two boats to catch fish through herding and sieving. Question 2. Is a hybrid troll that can be set to fish on or off the seabed? A. Semi-pelagic troll. B. Pelagic troll. C. Bottom troll. D. Seabed troll. The correct answer is letter A. Semi-pelagic troll. Semi-pelagic troll is a hybrid troll that can be set to fish on or off the seabed. Question 3. Towing blank is usually determined by the behavior and swimming capacity of the target species and the power of the boat. A. Speed B. Size C. Quantity D. Versatility The correct answer is letter A. Speed Towing speed is usually determined by the behavior and swimming capacity of the target species and the power of the boat. Question 4 the blank in the cod end is the main factor that determines the size and species retained and is often strictly regulated. A. Opening B. Mesh size C. Volume D. Resistance The correct answer is letter B. Mesh size the mesh size in the cod end is the main factor that determines the size and species retained and is often strictly regulated. Question 5. A blank is a cone-shaped net towed in the seabed and designed to catch fish living on or near the seabed. A. Bottom troll. B. Pelagic troll. C. Semi-pelagic troll. D. Paired sink. The correct answer is letter A. Bottom troll. A bottom troll is a cone-shaped net towed in the seabed and designed to catch fish living on or near the seabed. Question 6. The blank of bottom trolls often consists of components such as heavy-duty ropes, chains, discs, bobbins, and or weights to measure that seabed contact is maintained during fishing while minimizing the risk of damage to the net. A. Head rope B. Otter boards C. Ground gears D. Upper bridle The correct answer is letter C. Ground gears The ground gears of bottom trolls often consist of comp components such as heavy-duty ropes, chains, discs, bobbins, and or weights to ensure that seabed contact is maintained during fishing while minimizing the risk of damage to the net. Question 7. The horizontal opening of the net mouth may be maintained by a blank in beam trolls. A. Rigid beam. B. Otter boards. C. Towing the net between two boats. D. All of the above. The correct answer is letter a. Rigid beam. The horizontal opening of the net mouth may be maintained by a rigid beam in beam trolls. Question 8. The horizontal opening of the net mouth may be maintained by a blank in pair trolls. A. Rigid beam. B. Otter boards. 
see towing the net between two boats, D all of the above. The correct answer is letter C, towing the net between two boats. The horizontal opening of the net mouth may be maintained by towing the net between two boats in pair trolls. Question 9. The horizontal opening of the net mouth may be maintained by a blank in other trolls. A. Rigid beam. B. Other boards. C. Towing the net between two boats. D. All of the above. The correct answer is letter B. Other boards. The horizontal opening of the net mouth may be maintained by other boards in other trolls. Question 10. Loads and weights or a rigid frame often maintain the blank opening of the troll net. A. Horizontal B. Faster C. Downward D. Vertical The correct answer is letter D. Vertical Loads and weights or a rigid frame often maintain the vertical opening of the troll net. Question 11 Bottom trolls can be towed from the outriggers. In this case, an even number of trolls are towed to blank the load. A. Increase B. Balance C. Outweigh D. Decrease The correct answer is letter B. Balance Bottom trolls can be towed from the outriggers in this case, an even number of trolls are told to balance the load. Question 12. The bottom troll has also become the subject of controversy in part due to A. Poor selectivity B. Physical impact to the bentos C. High discards D. All of the above The correct answer is letter D. All of the above Question 13. A troll whose horizontal spread is maintained by a rigid beam across the net mouth. A. Otter troll B. Hybrid troll C. Otter troll D. Beam troll The correct answer is letter D. Beam troll Beam troll is a troll whose horizontal spread is maintained by a rigid beam across the net mouth. Question 14 Beam trolls are usually towed on the seabed, often targeting fish that live on or near the seabed, such as A. Tuna B. Shrimp C. Halfbeaks D. Tilapia The correct answer is letter B. Shrimp Question 15 The beam is commonly made of wood, bamboo or metal, and may be of any length that can be handled on board and able to withstand the stress during towing. The height of head rope is usually blank that of the beam. A. Greater than B. Stable than C. The same as D. Lesser than The correct answer is letter C. The same as the height of head rope is usually the same as that of the beam. Question 16. One beam troll can be towed from the stern of the vessel, or alternatively, two or more beam trolls may be towed from outriggers. Two beam trolls towed behind a boat are referred or classified as blank. A. Beam troll Between beam troll C. Rigged Beam Troll D. Otter Beam Troll The correct answer is letter A. Beam Troll Two beam trolls towed behind a boat are referred or classified as Still a Beam Troll Question 17 A single boat bottom otter troll is one cone-shaped troll towed on the seabed by one boat, with its horizontal spread maintained by how many otter borns? A. 1 B. Multiple C. 4 D. A pair The correct answer is letter D. A pair 
Question 18. Multiple bottom otter trolls comprise more than two troll nets towed over the seabed by one boat. Multiple bottom otter trolls are also called blank trolls, which are rigged between two or more otter boards and clump weights or sleds. A. Multi-rig B. Skimming C. Polyrig D. Multi-sledge The correct answer is letter A. Multi-rig Multiple bottom otter trolls are also called multi-rig trolls, which are rigged between two or more otter boards and clump weights or sleds. Question 19. A bottom pair troll is a troll towed over the seabed by two blank, which maintain the horizontal spread of the net during fishing. A. Otter boards B. Sweepers C. Boats D. Clump weights The correct answer is letter C. Boats. A bottom pair troll is a troll towed over the seabed by two boats, which maintain the horizontal spread of the net during fishing. Question 20. Twin bottom other trolls are two troll nets towed over the seabed by blank boat. A1, B2, C3, D4. The correct answer is letter A1. Twin bottom other trolls are two troll nets towed over the seabed by only one boat. So that's it. Congratulations for answering 20 questions. Comment down your score. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button. See you on our next set of questions.